Hey everyone, um, in this video I'm going to run you through a really simple ASCII art uh, creator code. So what it does is it takes an image that you select and it'll make uh, an ASCII photo for you, which is just an image made up of the different ASCII characters. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to be able to load the image in. So I have all these sections defined, so this is what we're going to code in right now. Uh, it's a relatively short code, it ends up being like 68 lines, or around 70 lines. So First, to load the image in, uh, we want to select the file. Let me put some comments in here. So we want to select the file, and we use this. Uh, we do this using the UI get file, so you can select it from any folder that you want. So we're going to load in the file name, the file path, and we're going to use the UI get file. And in my case, this is where my uh, this is where my picture is located. Documents. Yeah, my, uh, Tutorials, ASCII art, and then it's going to be any file.jpg. Okay, and the text in this UI get file is going to just say select the image. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to read in the image. So read in the image. So that gives it the file name and the file path. Now we want to actually read it in the image. And I'm going to store the image in. IMG for image. Okay. And of course I need a comma here. Okay, so read in the image. I am read is what you use, and then you need to input where the uh, photo is located, so the file path and the file name as such. Okay, so that's it with loading the image in. Then the next thing we want to do is change the image. Uh, I want to convert this image from uh, a color picture into a grayscale picture, so I'm going to Call this new image IMG gray is equal to, and then it's RGB to gray of the image that we loaded in. Then I also want to find the size of the image. Oops, okay, this is. Whoa. Okay, convert the image to grayscale. Okay, so then we want to find the size of the image, and we just use the size function, so I'll have the X number of pixels. Y number of pixels is equal to the size of the gray image. Okay, and then I also want to resize, and I'll show you why later. Uh, so I do the resize parameters, and the way that I resize this is because, or the reason that I resize this is because when I open this up in Notepad, or I use Notepad++ because there's a zoom feature, when I open it up in Notepad, I can't if, if the picture is too big when I originally put it in here, you won't be able to see the whole picture. You'll just get like a little portion of it. It's really hard to see what it is. And I haven't found the best way to, to view these images yet, and apart from just resizing the image. So I'll show you that um, later. So I want the X max pixels. I'm going to say 60 for now. This is what's worked for me. And then the Y max pixels is equal to 200 for right now. And then I'm actually going to resize the image. So the image gray resize is equal to IM resize, which is another built-in function. You take the original image, and then you specify the X max pixels and the Y max pixels, like this. And then I'm also going to get the new amount of pixels, which, I mean, I set them up there, but I'll just do this again. Y pixels is equal to size of the image gray resize. Okay. So now we want to define the actual ASCII symbols that we're going to use in this picture. Um, these ones, I'll, I'll show you that I put, okay, I put these into the symbols uh, array, like a character array. And I picked these based off of um, just ones that looked like they were taking up a lot. Like this M is going to be a dark pixel. The next darkest one is going to be the pound sign. The next darkest one is going to be the at. I'm just going to copy these over from my other file because it's going to take a while to put them in here. Uh, let me see what do I need. Okay, like this. So you can see that the M is going to be the darkest one, the pound is going to be the next darkest, then the A, and these are in, in decreasing order of darkness. So this here is just a, uh, that's how you put in a, uh, the, not the quotation, but the uh, apostrophe. So, so you can see this is the darkest going down to the lightest. So those are the symbols. And then I also wanted to define an intensity. So the picture that we have up here, the pixel values go from 0 to 255. So I want to say um, 
with 0 being black and 255 being white. So I want to assign like this pixel a range, or this uh, symbol a range of pixel values. So that's what this intensity matrix is for. So I have intensity is equal to, and I'm going to copy this one in again. So it's going to be, it's going to look like this. So pretty much it's saying that for the range from 0 to 10, for the pixel value range 0 to 10, uh, we're going to use the the letter M from 10 to 20, going to use the pound sign, 20 to 30, the at sign, and so on and so forth. And that's all you need to do for the intensity. Uh, another way that you could have done this is I can define this um, this value. And I'm going to say it's the length of symbols. So it's the symbol length. So it's the number of symbols in this array. And then what you can do is you can just use lin space. So you can say intensity is equal to the lin space from 0 to 255 and then the symbol length plus one. And the symbol length plus one is because we need one extra uh, one extra for the ranges here, because this corresponds to in between zero and 10. This corresponds to in between 10, 10 and 20. So we need an extra, an extra value. So you'll see that this one here has plus one values of this array here. Uh, so you can also do that, but I found that for the picture that I'm gonna use, this works better. So I don't need these two in here. Okay, then I'm going to construct the symbol matrix, which is which is the the picture that we want created uh, out of symbols. So I'm going to loop through the entire uh, image. Okay, so I'm going to loop through. So this is the loop through the entire image. It's i is equal to one in steps of one to x pixels, or j is equal to one in steps of one to y pixels. Okay. And what we're going to do in here is I'm going to, for each pixel value, it's from 0 to 255, I'm going to search through this intensity array up here and then find out what value. So let's just say the pixel is 35. I'm going to find out in which range it's in between. The 35 will be in between 30 and 40. And then it will pick the corresponding symbol from this array up here. So that's what this code is doing next. So I'm going to go for the bin number is equal to 1 in steps of 1 to sim length. So I actually guess I do need the sim length up here. Sim length is equal to the length of the symbols. Okay. And now I'm going to have an if statement going through um, to find out which range it's, it's in. So if the image gray resize ij, so for the current pixel value, if the current pixel value is greater than or equal to the intensity in the bin number, Okay, and the image gray resize, so the current pixel value, is less than or equal to the intensity at bin number plus one. Okay, then symbol image, which is my final image, ij is equal to symbols of the bin number. And then if it does find it, I'm going to break out of this loop so it doesn't keep searching. This is not the most efficient way to do this, but it works. Okay, good. So now this should create our our final symbol image here. Okay, and you can also initialize. Uh, actually, no, the reason I don't initialize is because it's not made out of numbers. It's actually just made out of symbols. That's why I don't initialize it up there. Okay, but now that we have our image, symbol image, now we just want to output it to a text file. So what I want to do is uh, have my file name that I'm going to output to. So I call it save to file. And I'm going to call it notepad, notepad uh, plus plus image.txt. Oops. OK. And the file path that I have is, again, my path that I used before, because I just want to put it into the same folder. OK. And that means that the full file name is equal to, I'm going to concatenate the string, so string cat, the path, and the save to file. Okay, and now we want to write out the constructed symbol matrix, which is the image. We're going to use dlm write, and we're going to write out to the full file name, it's the file that we're writing to, we're writing out the symbol image, that's the image, and the delimiter that we're using is nothing because we don't want spaces in between these characters. We don't want commas or anything. Okay, 
And that should be it for this code. So save that. You see it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty short code. And I have over here, you can see I have, uh, I have a portrait of Obama that I'm using just because it's the contrast is really good in this picture. And I also have the MATLAB logo. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, unbalanced, good. Where did I put that? Oh yeah, okay. So I just need another one of those. And now I should be able to run it. I'm gonna use this and it's done. And I'm going to open this up here. I'm gonna open this up with Notepad++ and you can see the image here. And it looks kind of like the picture, which is kind of cool. So again, this has, if I click control and I scroll, I can scroll the image back. Um, but then it's hard to see that it actually, it's actually made out of ASCII characters. So I like to have a certain size image, like this size image, so I can see it. And uh, let's see, let me do the uh, let me do the MATLAB logo really quick, so we can see what that looks like. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna pick the MATLAB logo. It's done running, and I'm going to open this up again. And there you go. You can see the MATLAB logo. Uh, and I think that is it for this video. Uh, there are some tweaks that I can make in the future, uh, but for right now, this is a very basic. Uh, ASCII art creator code. Uh, so thanks for watching.